You know, Power 105 is going at it with Hot 97, Hot 97 going at it with Power 105, blah, 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 blah. There's this list. We don't know if this exists or not, right? But it's so, some, somehow, Funk Flex gets a hold of this list okay. from what I heard. And he meets up with all the DJs, whether they Power 105, whether they Hot 97, and he flips on them. And he goes, yo, man, you know, we all should be getting enough money that we should not be taking money, one, and then two, because... Young M.A.'s second single didn't get pushed because they said the DJs in New York didn't play it. Have you ever heard this story? This I have is, never heard this but story. But because of what? Because because they didn't get the bag. They got the bag. They wanted the bag from... From, from Duck Down or... I was going to say from Drew, huh? Right. Yeah, that yeah, seems crazy. Because what, what was Young M.A.'s first single? Ooh. Ooh. So I guess... By the way, all-time classic. Let's, let's, classic. Yeah. We need to pay respect. Classic. Don't let's ever make forget. Make some noise for Young Make man. some noise for fucking Ooh. That so, Ooh and Bobby Shmurda back-to-back right. moment was fire. So there's a rumor. No disrespect. You probably not... You know, They don't probably because see you're a, a real DJ. DJ. No, they yeah, don't. So I'm not probably, a club DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they went to... This is the rumor. Okay. Flex stepped to everyone from Power 105 so he had a meeting. Uh, he had a... A, a Dulabinati du- du- meeting, like a DJ Illuminati meeting. DJ Illuminati? D- 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 DJ Illuminati. D- 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 I've heard you say a lot of crazy shit. DJ Illuminati. DJ Illuminati. DJ Illuminati. DJ Illuminati. DJ Illuminati. We're going to spell that out in this game. And it was addressed like, yo, blah, say blah, whoop de whoop. And one of the main reasons was we had a New York star, you know, Young M.A., and woo, what was it? Woo, ooh, ooh, number one, whatever it had to do. But the second single came, and every DJ felt like they didn't want to play it. This is the rumor. And if I remember correctly, that second single was pretty dope. It yeah. was pretty dope. I think Young M.A. is pretty dope, period. But what I'm saying is, I'm just bringing that up to say, have you ever dealt with that type of shit? Because, cause, you know, for us, New York, we ran the world. Yep. It's kind of hard for us to sit back and watch Atlanta. It's called, kind of hard for us to sit back and watch any anybody in a certain state. Right. Doing what they got to do when we're not at the forefront. But then we realize and we hear that it's a reason why. There's certain people who want to be paid. Like, I think that when it comes from your own I think that should never be approached. I, obviously, I'm just giving you, I'm just asking you your opinion. Yeah, it's, it, by the way, this is so boring that my answer is I have no idea. Right. And I know I can already see the YouTube comments. Yeah, fucking right, you don't know. <laughs> you're the you're worst part one. of the Digimonati. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're the one. You, you're, that's because your father owns the whole radio station. <laughs> I know. Yeah, oh, I get it all. How well, did your you, industry plan? Oh, yeah, how did you, you get the You own the whole block that the radio station. I know, I know. My mom was a kindergarten teacher. She hooked me up. But, no. <laughs> I, I've never been close to that shit, right. ever. Now, I've right. heard stories from back in the day just like you asking right. questions. No, I know for a fact, I know, I, I, please remember what I said because they'll kill me for cutting you off. I know for a fact Funk Master Flex does not do it. I've tried any which way, shape, form, or fashion. <laughs> I've, I've tried to buy car rims off of him. I've tried to be any way, shape, form. <laughs> Funk Flex, one million percent his integrity. If he likes my record, he's going to play it. If he doesn't like my record, he's going to say, I don't like it. He'll still play it once. It's no bombs. There's no, it's very, very, <laughs> very seldom. But when he does like my record, he goes in, and yeah. I, so I can never be mad when he likes somebody else's record. But continue your uh, statement. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I have never seen it, never heard of it. Mm. And frankly, if people say that, I, mm-hmm. I think it's excuse making. Mm-hmm. Like, we need, to, we need to be better in New York. We need to make better music. Right. That's right. the issue. Hold on, my brother's calling. Okay, the, cool. Yo, Nick, I'm on Drink, drink Champs right now. You want to say anything on Drink Champs? Yeah, yeah. This is a lot. <laughs> Nick's a hat of Nori in EFF. What's going on, Nick? What's going on, what Nick? Up, on, Nick? Up, the guy who got me into hip hop. Okay. Can I call you back? Listen. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Nori's asking me. How can I come into a conversation and be like, say something? <laughs> He's in the Digiminati. Yeah, no, no, Nick. I'm telling the story about how our family is in the um, Illuminati and how I got the job yes. at 97 because yeah. dad rules the world. <laughs> uh, no, no, don't say it. <laughs> I'll, I'll call you back after this. What were we talking about? I'm so into it. Um, no, the, the, the payola stuff. Never okay. seen it. I, and I the believe, secret DJ meeting. I right. believe it's excuse making. I believe that New York just for a while wasn't making hot shit. No, like, I, I know no, for you're a saying fact the, young the situation is, is a fact. 
So hold I mean, on. So, I'm, hold on. I'm, so what you're I'm saying is... I'm painting it as, as a rumor. But, but for so you're saying fact, Flex had a meeting and told everyone, you cannot take money for records. This, this, he was disappointed. I heard that he had a tear in his eye. Oh, because, was, because of her because, record not getting he played. Didn't, he didn't know that people were actually doing that. And when he realized that she came up with another record and he was the only one playing it. Got it. So you're saying, so you're saying that. Something like that. I'm paraphrasing okay, got somewhere. It, got it. So basically, but, they fucked with Ooh because it was hot. But on the next one, they were like, nah, you got to pay this yeah, time. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, well, that would be a fucking disgrace. And we do, we, anyone would deserve whatever they get for that. You know, I don't know anyone. Like, I got to tell you guys, like, the, the DJs, you're friends with all of them. Like, right. you know, from Saif, Camillo, right. Enough, Cass, Trends. Right. Like, everyone I know up there has been a straight dude, like a straight-up yeah. dude since I got there. No, right. but there's some. Let's be clear. Well, I just, we, we're, naming the, we're naming the good cops. That's like, it's like when you get, like, oh, the good cops, I'm no officer of Rodriguez. I know officer <laughs> There's a lot of bad cops. There's a lot of bad ones. I'm not sure. Sure. But, yeah. but, but let's be honest here, and this is, this DJ is, so, is more integrity. No, no, no. For, but, but this is the thing. What was created for DJs okay. to create some kind of situation that benefits somebody is the DJ crews. Yes. Mm-hmm. And the DJ crews is like mafia shit. Yeah, because you got to get... You look want, at, look you at all DMX's first sport. album, Listening Party. It was all heavy hitters. That was definitely the Colombo family. Let's right, just make exactly. some noise for the Colombo So it may not be pay- payola, but it was something like that. It's not payola, huh? With, but no, no, that's true, because the crews make it complicated because you want a whole crew to support right. your record. Right. You know? And listen, I'm sure I'm going to encounter that right now. I'm going to be just hitting up every DJ randomly myself, being like, right. hey, is there anything you could play on this? Right. No, but listen... I, I, I can't ever condone a DJ doing some shit like no, that. Absolutely. I've been on my own fucking island, bro, playing yeah. the music I'm going to play for... I can't believe they let me do it for 13 years. I've never been paid for my Sunday night show. I make my own playlist. No one says a fucking word. I have never... Oh, no, I did. I had one little period where they started telling me I needed to play hits in my show. I forgot. I was... Yo, I forgot that happened. Really? And for about a year, they were like, send us the playlist... It was because of a whack boss we had, not not Ebro, some like a whack dude who was but there. Say late between. night show. <laughs> yes, there was a period where they were like, "You need to on Sundays. We want to make sure that we're spinning other records too." Mm. So I played along with them for like six months, and then slowly but surely they forgot. A new person came in, and I'm no one bothers me about my shit, and I'm very grateful. Like on Sundays, I literally can chill in my house and be like, "What am I playing?" You know, yeah. like when X passed, God rest the dead, oh, I was yeah. able to be like, I'm going to do an hour of X. On late night. And yeah, and I'm going to play yeah. the most random shit that people don't remember. I can do Tell that them what late night, what time it comes on. Tell them. Every, if you're in New York or anywhere in the world, you can stream it every Sunday night, midnight Eastern. So it's Sunday into Monday, midnight to two. Right. And I get to do whatever the fuck I want. I've done it now for 13 years. And you know, listen, it's a weird time to get to have this gig. Like, this isn't the glory years. Um, yeah, I'm not, sure. I'm not stretching Bob. I'm right. never going to be viewed right. as stretching Bob because this isn't the glory, you know, the the, the era, the I golden years. I got a question years. about stretching Bob before we go to um, Quick Time and Fly. I thought we were going to commercial. I was like, what? No, 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 no. No, 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 no the glory years? Okay, yeah, I got it's just, it's not. That's not the time I've been in, unfortunately. I've right. been on at the time, actually, where everyone's kind of moved on from the golden era, and I've been the dude who continues to try to put my flag down for the shit that I love. Right. While growing with the times, you know, I've supported all the biggest artists, in, not all, but a lot of the biggest artists in the, over the last decade, mm. you know, from Cole to Kendrick to Mac Miller, God Bless the Dead, Logic. Earl, Earl Sweatshirt, Logic, uh-huh. a lot of, there have been a ton of, I, I played Odd Future for the first time, I played Frank yeah, Ocean yeah, for that, the first yeah, time. When you Google you, they say that you was the first person to play Earl Sweatshirt and and had an interview with him. First interview ever with Earl Sweatshirt. Like, I was trying, I was waiting for him to get back from Samoa. Like, I, that was a, you know, and those guys are, <coughs> fucking Tyler's a Grammy-winning oh, no, legend he's, now. He's, he's a new RZA. Yeah, he's he a new is. RZA. I, yo, I think I'm the exact same way. He's yeah, gonna make he's movies, RZA. he's gonna do everything. I know I've been talking shit about him, but he's the new no, RZA. He's, yeah, he's, he's but, new but it shows I'm you sorry, why Tyler. you shouldn't neglect respect him. these artists that you are but that, putting on, because what he's saying with all oh, the lyrics and this and that, no. You don't shows know. shows you the type of artist that can come out of yo, this. Yo, the, uh, the early Odd Future shit was the dirtiest, grimiest shit ever. Yeah. Now, granted, it was they were sort of playing characters and they yeah. and Tyler knew what he was doing, yeah. but the bottom line is musically, if you go back and watch their first yeah, video no, was, they're fucking breaking teeth and bleeding and doing crazy shit in the videos yeah. it was some real yeah. it reminded me of some fucking onyx heavy you metal know, mop we're gonna yeah. really push the boundaries fuck you of <laughs> of this is of everything right. I mean, it's beautiful, it's it's beautiful, beautiful it was refreshing what they were doing no it was and so listen the fact is i've lived a 
while while my radio show I don't think has ever gotten the the glory and flowers that I would have liked it to, though I'm deeply appreciative of you guys who have right. always treated me that way. It means right. a lot to me. And there right. are pockets of people who treat me that way. Right. Diddy's right. always been that way. Busta, Swizz. Like, they're a guy, the guys who spend time in New York right. because they drive around. Right. Like, Diddy, the reason Diddy and I have a relationship is because Diddy used to drive around at night, and people don't know that Diddy's a fucking head. And he'd be like, yo, what is the shit that you're, what did you play at 1255? Mm. You know, so it was shit like that. That's how you discovered Biggie or some underground shit. So yeah, yeah he's, he still has that mentality right. to some degree. Mm. So while I didn't always get like, you know, I don't necessarily always get the Stretch and Bob treatment of like, oh, thank God for Peter Rosenberg. Ultimately, my life has been filled with so many blessings because, oh, ASAP Mob, they're a great example. Rocky right. always heaps praise on me. Bronson always does too. And I'm super grateful for the ones who always, the New York, yo, Bronson's Queens all day. Rocky right. and Ferg are fucking Harlem. Right. Those cats kind of understand it because they knew what it meant to hear it on the radio still. We live in an era now where not for, it doesn't mean the same thing for no, everyone. Not at all. But the fact is, the fact that I got to be around these guys, you know, like Childish Gambino, who I played on the radio for the first time too. Gambino is one of the most brilliant minds in entertainment, period. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mac Put Miller. me on Atlanta, Gambino. Okay. Were you oh. on Atlanta? No, I want to be. Oh, I think I'm, you said again. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to, trying to throw my shot. Yeah, good, good. What's going on? I auditioned for Atlanta and didn't get on. Oh, really? They asked me to audition for an episode of Atlanta at the very beginning. What was the role? Uh, so I'm going to tell you this story because you're going to love this. I feel like you was working in a laundromat. No? <laughs> no? Yo, your family on the way, radio station. Way, I hope your listeners appreciate, and I know they do, because y'all are, y'all are it right now, but I hope I hope listeners appreciate the level of that one-liner. Yo, that was dead pan. I feel like we're in a laundry. Um, okay. so, so Gambino and Fam, uh, they hit me up, and they're like, hey, we're putting on a TV show. We want you to audition for a part. I'm like, okay, cool. He sends me the script. I read the script. It happened. It's episode one of Atlanta, playing a radio DJ. I look at the script, I read it. I, I look at my ex-wife at the time. I'm like, they have the N-word in here. Mm. I call Fam, Gambino's manager. Right. I'm like, yo, guys, you put the N-word in the fucking script. I don't say the N-word. I respect that about you. He goes, it's called acting. I was like, I was like, fuck you. All right, let me think about it. So I spent days thinking about what I was gonna do. Right. Should I do it? Should I not do it? How would it play? What is the Breakfast Club going to do with the audio when the episode airs? Very true. The Breakfast what Club is are, deep. And by the way, I would have been playing a radio personality. How right. many people are going to believe it's just real? Yeah, that's separate right. from something. So from I, I weighed this out. I talked to Ebro. I talked to my boy, Shawnee Culture. I'm like, what should I do? I'm not even comfortable. I've never said... I know this sounds crazy and people don't believe it. I haven't said that word. My parents raised me from the very beginning. Goddamn, make some noise for you. Goddamn. My parents... Well, my parents... My, I used to shame... I used to shame other children if I ever heard it. Like, I just right. was like, my, I, I didn't even understand. That. I didn't understand it. My parents just said, that's a word you don't say. Okay. So so I talked to everybody about it. I'm like, I'm not even comfortable doing this. So I talked to Ebro and Shawnee. Everyone's like, bro, you got it. If you, th-. I was like, I think this show is going to be legendary, though. Legendary. And they're like... So you get- saw it already. You knew oh, I you knew. I kn- it, was, it was Donald's show. I right. knew. So I decided to do it. I decided to do it. I practiced it. And practicing it, I only felt comfortable practicing it with black people. Right. I was like, I'm not going to sit around with another white person <laughs> and practice saying the N-word. Right. So I, I, my boy shoddy culture. Sounds mad awkward already. Yeah. Yo, it all sounds awkward. <laughs> but I was like, if I'm going to have to do this thing, we're gonna, I'm, I'm not going to do this oh, secluded with white people. Right. I'm not saying getting comfortable with this. Right. So I practiced it. I could tell he was like, this isn't that believable. Right. And I did the audition, didn't get the part. I ran into fam. I'm like, so what happened? He was like, just couldn't believe you saying the N-word. Right. I was like, bro, I told you. Right. He was like, it just, you're too nice a guy. Because <laughs> if you remember episode one, basically the DJ seems like, hey, I'm a cool DJ. And then he drops the N-word because he's a douchebag. Right. Right. And I just right. wasn't able to pull off the douchebag. In who, retrospect, it was for the best. Who wound up doing it? Uh, an actor. A random dude. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, it wasn't a DJ. Yeah. What, it wasn't, it wasn't like bootleg like Kev came in. <laughs> you know, like, it was, no, it wasn't a DJ. So in the end, I think it's probably best it didn't happen. But I'm not going to lie. I did want to be part of that show because I knew it was history. Like, I knew this show was going to be That's iconic. That's fine. 